Hey guys, welcome back to Ally Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Ally, and on today's episode of Ally Can Cook, we are showing you how I make my funky fried rice. So this fried rice, I have made this probably millions of times at school, multiple different ways. It's pretty much my dinner when I have a bunch of leftover food and I'm trying to get rid of it. Last week we did a video where we showed you how to use food in your fridge, and this is another way to also use food in your fridge. It's very simple. You can change it up however you like. I've honestly had this fried rice with just green onion, rice, and soy sauce before. When I've been work on her healthy eating. I know that was. I know that wasn't enough, but I'm just saying it's tasty and it's fast and it's easy. So, if you guys want to see how I yes you because I'm showing you make my funky fried rice, keep watching. All right guys, so the key to the funky fried rice is that you need to have day old rice. This is day old brown rice, usually what I use, but you can use any rice that you want. First we're going to start by heating up our skillet to medium. And then you're going to want to add a tablespoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil, I love the smell of it. And that is what we are gonna cook our vegetables in. So then we're gonna add in our carrots that I have chopped up decently small here. And this is about a half a cup of carrots. We're also going to add in half a cup of chopped broccoli. There we go. And then we are just going to spread it around and let it cook for about two to three minutes. The reason we're cooking the broccoli and the carrots first is because it takes a bit longer for them to cook than, say, the onions and the jalapenos. Right. We're going to then want to add in half a cup of white onion now, frying up our vegetables. And once your vegetables look pretty fried. They have a really nice bright color and that's how you can tell that your vegetables are cooked. Then we're also going to add in a quarter cup of jalapeno. So you can skip this step if you don't like it spicy, but it doesn't make it too spicy and I just love the jalapeno. So I'm going to heat down now to medium low. Alright, so now's the time when you want to add in your day old rice. I'm just honestly going to estimate for the portion size that we're going to eat. So after I add in the rice, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. So one. See, if you don't like it less, soy sauce, add less. If you like more, add more. And after the soy sauce, I'm going to also add in a teaspoon of minced garlic. So now that we have the rice warming up here with our vegetables, you're going to want to add in, if you do have it, this is optional, some seasoned tofu. I have seasoned tofu on hand, so I'm going to add that into our dish. But if you don't, it's fine. Skip it. You want to cook it until the rice and tofu heat up in the pan and most of the liquid has been absorbed and then you are good to plate it. Nice. Alrighty guys, so that is how you make Ali's funky fried rice. It's very simple to put together. You can use all old ingredients that were left over in your fridge. Very healthy, lots of protein in there. Well, yeah, and tofu was genius. Yeah, it's just stuff that I always have on hand in my kitchen, and I figure most people do as well. And it's a great dish for someone who's on a budget. All these ingredients are very inexpensive. Well, also, too, it would make a great side. Guess it would. All right. But it's a great dinner as well, let me tell ya. <laughs> are we gonna try to eat with chopsticks? Uh, you can. Look at that. And? Mm. Yum. So good every time. Good stuff. Look at you and those chopsticks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that tofu. There it is. That is really good. Mm-hmm. It's comforting too. Mm-hmm. It's a nice winter meal. And it's hot. Yes. The spices you put in there get it really. That's why it's funky. All right, funky. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We filmed it a bit differently this time, so I hope that was okay and you guys got all the instructions. We're just trying to play around with it and see what works best for us, but this was a fairly simple dish, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.